Are you living in pain? Is it joint pain or muscle pain? If so, stay tuned. Welcome to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow, MD, and Dr. Thomas Grove, DO, from the Joint Rehab and Sports Medical Center in West Los Angeles. This is the program that can give you effective solutions for the pain you've been living with. Dr. Darrow is a medical doctor board certified through his studies at UCLA. And Dr. Darrow uses stem cell and platelet-rich plasma to heal your body. He teaches about the use of stem cells, PRP, and prolotherapy. Dr. Grove is a regenerative medicine specialist and an expert in ultrasound-guided injections with extensive experience as an athlete and strength and conditioning coach. Today's program could open up a new life without pain for you. To speak with Dr. Darrow and Dr. Grove, call 866-870-KRLA. That's 866-870-5752. Ask for a copy of Dr. Darrow's book, Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy. Regenerate, don't operate. Now, here's Dr. Darrow with his co-host, Dr. Thomas Grove. Dr. Grove, how are you doing today? Dr. Darrow, I am living it up. Are you living it up over there? I am living it high. High on the hog, as they say. I love it. (laughs) Another great day. And another great day for us to help educate people on how they can heal their orthopedic pain, their musculoskeletal issues, their joints, their ligaments, their tendons, their necks, their backs, their shoulders, their uh, hips, their toes, their fingers, their knees. We get so many knees, hips, you name it. Um, And all of the things that walk in the door where the diagnosis is wrong from the other doctor. (laughs) We see that every day. So how do we do it? We use what we call regenerative medicine. And regenerative medicine is exactly what it says. Our job is to actually heal the body and regenerate it to a place where it was pre-injury. And we do that without knives. We do without scalpels. We do with thin needles. We just simply inject stem cells or platelets into the area where there is an injury or overuse, arthritis, any of these kind of things. And it works all over the body. There's literally no place that we do not inject. Um, It doesn't work for things like cancer pain or multiple sclerosis or different disease states like diabetes. We're here to just do the orthopedics. We don't do IV stem cells. Um, that's something that we're not sure we believe in it yet. We're always open-minded. Uh, we know a lot of people fly out of the country to get IV stem cells, and they're all hyped up for a while. And then after a few weeks, they go, well, I don't even know if that did anything. We had a woman come in, if you recall, Dr. Grove, who flew to, um, I forget where she went to, Thailand. Yeah, this this poor woman spent 20 grand. I think it was mm-hmm. her ankle. And... Um, she felt really good for a short period of time. And again, you, that's what I call the halo effect or maybe placebo. And then she said it didn't really work. And uh, big expense. You know, the people that go to Panama uh, often spend about uh, 30 grand. And then it goes on up from there. So to me, it makes no sense. It actually assists people to fly in to see us because our our prices are much less than any other docs who are educated in this and know what they're doing and do it all day long. You can find people that do this um, who don't know what they're doing, and uh, that's not people I go to for anything. Anytime I go to a doctor, I want to know how much of the procedure they do every day, and that's something. Don't be shy when you talk to your doctors or you're interviewing doctors. Ask, how many of these did you do today? How many yesterday? How many last week? How many last year? And uh, I think you'll find that Dr. Grove and I probably do the most of anybody that we've heard of on the planet. So does that make us better than anybody? No, but we see the most. And um, hopefully we are up there. And Dr. Grove, who's doing most of the injections now, uses ultrasound guidance for the needles. And anytime you're being injected, you want to have an ultrasound to look inside the body so you can guide that needle to the exact spot. And this is a whole area of concern because we get people come in with all kinds of diagnoses and 
you know, MRIs, CT scans, x-rays, and the diagnosis doesn't really fit what the practical problem is. And there's a term that we use for that, which is pathology versus reality. So the pathology is what the doctor calls it, and the reality is what you have. Let me give out the phone number, Dr. Grove, then I'll let you dig into that a little bit. Yeah. So if anybody wants to talk to Dr. Grove or I live right now, the phone number to the studio is 866-870-5752. That's 866-870-5752. We'd love to hear from you. It's more exciting for us to talk to people that have issues that we don't know about in advance to kind of stump us and make us think. And for those of you that want to call the office, you can get a free phone consult with my staff, our staff, and that's 800-300-9300. Again, the office is 800-300-9300. And for anybody that calls in, we're going to send them a free copy of our book, Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate. The foreword is by the lovely Suzanne Summers, God bless her. Let her rest in peace. And um, her byline on the front of the of the cover, she did the introduction, is PRP and stem cell therapy might be just what you're looking for. This book could change your life for the better. And Suzanne was one of the greatest proponents of getting away from surgery and um, medication. And she saved tons of people's lives uh, by doing that and saving them from needless surgery. 800 300 90 300 and there are people by the phones now so you can call and talk to them and uh, they'll send you out a book stem cell and platelet therapy regenerate don't operate um, with the forward by suzanne summers and um, believe it or not there is a nice little uh, kudos on the back by dr dre if you know who he is he was oh. one of my very nice patients he's a wonderful man Um, So other things about this, which could be um, what I call a red herring. If you get an MRI, it may show things that aren't really there. MRIs are overly sensitive, and it might miss things that are there. And when we inject under ultrasound guidance, when we put the solution into whatever body part it is, sometimes the area will blow up like a balloon showing a tear or a rip that an MRI can't see because it's flattened out. So we do something called hydrodissection, where we, when we're injecting in an area, we'll place a little fluid first to open up the area to see where we're going and where that solution can go to. So um, for us, it's pretty simple. We, we've been training in this for years and years and years, but the average doc doesn't even use an ultrasound. And if they do, they haven't really been trained very well with it. So you always want to go to a doc who does the most. And um, I wa- actually, I was watching Dr. Grove injecting a shoulder yesterday, and he is superb, just absolutely, I think, the best uh, diagnostic ultrasound and injector on the planet. And I've been around tons of people for many, many years. I've been doing this work for 27 years. And um, it took me about 15 years to find Dr. Grove. <laughs> it, it really did. I mean, I I interviewed so many doctors because I was growing. I needed help in the practice. And it wasn't until Dr. Grove came along that I was satisfied that someone had the skills, the personality. And, you know, one of the main things is the loving of the patients. Dr. Grove and I both give out our cell numbers to every patient, and we tell them to call us 24-7. We also say you can call at 3 in the morning. We're not going to pick up because we're asleep. But we'll call you as soon as we wake up. But we want close contact with our patients. Uh, We're not the guys that do the work and then leave you flying in the wind worrying about what's going on. We have some patients that text us all day long. And they text both of us with the same questions. (laughs) Sometimes. Another issue for you just to be careful with here, Stephen, is... You mentioned that you can't lift your arm up all the way. Is that correct? Yeah, I mean, I have usage of it, but I just, um, certain angles, and then yeah. I try to go above okay. my shoulder. Okay, it's so hurt. be very, very careful, because if you get an MRI, 
and it shows a tear, maybe a labral tear, rotator cuff tear, something like that, or arthritis, that may not be the cause of your pain at all. And you may have what we call a capsulitis. Have you ever heard that term? The capsule around the joint is inflamed, and that can limit your range of motion. And that's something that we can help with stem cells or platelets also. So we have to be very, very careful when Dr. Grove looks with the ultrasound. He can see if that capsule is thickened or scarred and see if that's really the issue. So you don't want to go buy a surgery when uh, it oh. may be the wrong thing. Uh, can so, you give me the number again, please? Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give a couple of numbers uh, to the general audience, too, who's listening. In order to speak to us right now live, just like Stephen is, the phone number to our studio at KRLA is 866-870-5752. That's 866-870-5752. We would love to hear from you. And if you want to call the office, the phone number there, you can talk to our staff and get a free phone consult with the staff and get a free book, Stem Cell and Platelet Therapy, Regenerate, Don't Operate. And the phone number there is 800 300 9300. And for those of you that are shy, you can look at the website, and that has tons of research. We do research in the office all the time. We have a lot of students who come through who want to get into medical school, and we publish every study that we do. A lot of students will do bench research or research where they're going to be last author, and it doesn't really help them very much. And we get all of our papers published. And um, uh, we have a paper that's about to come out now, long-term study on stem cells in knee arthritis, which is going to be amazing. But uh, for those of you that want to just email in, you can go to our website, which has videos of us doing these procedures, and you can see if it's something that is interesting for you. And the um, the browser for the uh, website is www.joint.com rehab.com that's j-o-i-n-t-r-e-h-a-b.com www.jointrehab.com you'll see videos of these procedures being done live you'll read the research I think it's probably the most realistic and informative source of regenerative medicine on the planet um, about stem cells and PRP, platelet-rich plasma, how these procedures are done, the research behind it. And the research is very, 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 um, I would, the word thick comes up to mind. It's not the right word. Prolific. <laughs> Prolific is the right word. Um, it's an area of medicine that's being researched very, very much. And a lot of um, private equity firms are getting into stem cells now and very interested in making a buck on it. Unfortunately, it doesn't make enough money in orthopedics for it to be the mainstay yet. Surgery is still the traditional model of generating income. And I, you know, we don't like to talk about this really. We don't want to get political, but it's pretty obvious the surgeries are really promoted for a financial basis. And hospitals would typically go bankrupt if they didn't if they weren't able to knock out tons of these little surgeries every day. Surgeries are where the the hospitals make the money. They don't make a lot of money having patients come in the door to sit in a bed. It's all procedures. So yeah. it's it's we're all, we've been fighting an uphill battle. I've been doing it for 27 years. You know, I've lectured to hospitals all over. And uh, there's always a couple of orthopedic surgeons that stand up and go, where's the research? And now I have this book that has the research, and I go, here it is. And in the book, there's it's a couple hundred pages of research, and there's about 250 studies on how regenerative medicine actually works, even though the orthopods, you know, nothing against them. I love orthopedic surgery. It's fun to do. And both Dr. Grove and I have done tons of it in our training. But... Um, they don't believe that regenerative medicine can work, even if they do it. A lot of guys, a lot of orthopedic surgeons will use it as a leader to keep patients happy. And then when they do it one time and it didn't work, they go, look, it didn't work. You need surgery. When to me and Dr. Grove, they never needed surgery to begin with. 
and um, the surgeon doesn't really have uh, a motive to continue doing this, and surgery is the motive, and it's it's not healthy for people. I'm just going to say it the way it is. Surgery, I had one on my shoulder, and um, I was very gung-ho. I had my boss do it for me when I was a uh, fourth-year med student, and it came out bad, and I had a terrible shoulder for about four years until I was at UCLA, and a doctor came and did a lecture on regenerative medicine, and I, as an experiment, injected my wrist first, and that healed about 50% overnight, and then it took a few more treatments and it healed. And then I did my shoulder, which healed literally 100% overnight. I had limited range of motion and very severe pain, and that was gone after one treatment. At that point, I put down the steroids. I stopped referring to orthopedic surgeons and um, started doing the work myself with amazing, amazing, amazing results. It's not going to work on everybody. And for several reasons, um, if you get a bad doc that somebody doesn't know what they're doing or someone doesn't have an ultrasound, you know, that's not going to work very well. And not enough treatments is another failure. You know, if you're, if you're not getting enough treatment to grow enough tissue, it's not going to work for you. Sometimes people will take a lot of ibuprofen or an anti-inflammatory that blocks the inflammation that helps create healing. And then uh, yeah. some people are just overactive where they, they will not rest. It's the biggest thing we have to deal with. We had a nice man come in yesterday afternoon who is a paint um, creator. You know, he, he mixes paints. And uh, he had a finger arthritis issue. And uh, he said, how long do I have to rest for? And we said, we don't know. And so we gave him a little finger brace and said, we can go back to work, but try to keep your finger out of it. So, you know, we get a lot of athletes. A lot of people are overactive. And, you know, I always use the example with my patients. If you want to grow grass, you throw the seed down, you water it, and you don't step on it right away. You wait till the grass is nice and healthy and thick. And it's the same thing when you check the body with these cells that are growing tissue. You want to leave it alone and let it heal. There was a kit that I was using when I first started. I won't mention the name. And they were advertising that they produced something like 10 times the amount of platelets mm -hmm. in their kit than the body actually has. Mm -hmm. I tested that. I sent those the blood to a lab, and it was like three times. Yeah. And I tested ours, and ours were like six to eight or nine times. Yep. So, yeah, the concentration is important. And um, there's just so many variables in the studies. What else? You know, uh, another thing with that is sometimes a patient will come in, the first thing we do is stick an ultrasound on it to see if there's fluid. Let's say someone says, I had an ACL rupture. Mm -hmm. We want to know if that's red fluid or yellow fluid. Because mm -hmm. if it's red, we know that it's some kind of a tear. Yep. And a lot of times MRIs will show an ACL rupture when it's not ruptured. And people will get a surgery, and the, and the surgeon goes, they're befuddled. They go, I don't understand. Why is that? There's no ACL rupture. It's because the MRI shows things. It's overly sensitive. So some patients come, and they said, I had an aspiration before, and it was so painful, I don't want to do it again. Mm -hmm. That's because the typical thing is most doctors use thick needles, and they don't use ultrasound, and they don't numb it up with lidocaine first. I mean, it, that makes no sense. When people work with us, they don't even know anything is happening. We use a teeny needle to numb up the area to do an aspiration. Oh, we're going to the break. Hang on, everybody. Don't go away. If you want to call into the studio and talk to Dr. Grove and I live, the phone number to the studio, talk to us, 866-870-5752. And the office you can call also, 800-300-9300. The website to watch videos, jointrehab.com, and you can email us through that also. Hang with us. You're listening to Living Pain-Free with Dr. Mark Darrow and Dr. Thomas Grove. Their practice is located at the Joint Rehab and Sports Medical Center in West Los Angeles. To schedule an appointment, call 1-800-300-9300. That's 1-800-300-9300. Dr. Darrow and Dr. Grove will be back in just a moment. Stay tuned. <laughs> 